you can smell the sea here. Cheeky little stop off just south of Culane Castle, which you can't see in the distance. And it's not somewhere we can stop for too long because I have had to park like that. But this is Maidens. See Aaron right over there in the background and it's that clear this morning that you can see right over to Danoon and all of that area up there. You can see the wind clouds, uh, the wind farms on top of the hills. Not just a car park. We're at Port Patrick where we're looking for Ireland. It's what? Get the knees activated. <laughs> I'm going to walk to the top of this hill and see what's up there. It says it's the castle. Half footwear. It's rather wet. We can't actually get to the castle. But It. Do you I've not really, I've got a couple planned oh, yeah. so we can just
some Kraken uh, candle holders. there in the rain. even toilets. I don't know if you can see that white building. That's our pitch. This is called the New England Bay and right next door there's a caravan and motorhome club. Honestly I do I feel like sometimes it's cheating but this is great. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to have my first swim of the year in there. We're having a nice glass of wine. Oh, look, the light rain. But what's even better, and I really hope it picks this up on camera, but look at that. Oh, she's my little, my little leprechaun, <laughs> my pot of gold at the bottom of the rainbow. It's finally happening. First swim of the year. Oh, I can't wait. Well, 
so sunny. It's perfect day for it. The water's crystal clear. According to the weather app, it's nine degrees, um, which is why I've put the wetsuit on. It's not easy to swim with a camera in your hand. There's only one thing you need after a swim in Scotland and that's a steak slice sandwich on the Ridge Monkey. This is heart attack in a pan. That's indigestion on a plate. But that is the topping of dreams. Final night park up and I don't think it's a bad one. There's a bit of a scuffle, <laughs> a kerfuffle. There's a bit of a kerfuffle in the car park, but I can completely get it. Because look at that. I'll meet you over there. And even better is we put £300 in the kit each uh, for Scotland and we've come in under because we filled it with fuel this morning somewhere where it was 146 a litre. So we've now got £38 to go and have dinner tonight. And the place we're having dinner is at the Nith Hotel opposite. We've just been to try and park at Calaver Rock and it seems like there's three dedicated spaces but the, the, the car park was really really muddy, I don't know what's going on there, um, the car park was really really muddy so we might just have to come back and visit that one another day but it's a beautiful area and that's where we're going to have dinner this evening, we've got a table booked for two and I can't wait. So because I know you like a little bit of information, I wanted to know why Glen Capel so popular. And apparently in the 1700s, this was a bustling port where the ships set off to America and the West Indies. Crazy.
In 1853, enough tea leaves were landed here to make 14 million cups of tea. Oh, be by gum. But what do you want, Auntie Jacks? A gift shop and some wine. <laughs> That's somebody on my YouTube subscription list. Have you bought anything? No, not yet, but I'm nearly about to spend £50. Pounds. <laughs> We're waiting for a nice large glass of wine each whilst we watch this rain cloud over here disappearing disappear we're watching it disappear it's definitely disappearing watch the space and with that our holiday and road trip around Scotland had come to an end I hope you've enjoyed joining me and my little sister Dobby I mean Jackie on our travels and if you'd like to join me in the future on my adventures, remember to hit that subscribe button.